This is an underwater camera. It shows you the depth, the temperature of the water, and all four fishing holes over here. Oh, dude. Hydraulic. <laughs> Guys, if you're familiar uh, with if if you're familiar with map, put a W in the chat. Night. So, okay, so two things. First and foremost, so I was talking to Mav last night. He sent me this picture and he said I'm allowed to share it with you guys on stream. Okay, so he sent me this. He said this video drops Sunday. So when this video drops Sunday, you guys are gonna go crazy for my boy and show him some love. And while I was talking to him last night, I said me and you catch and cook, you bring me out, and we just record some shit. And he said, you let me know when you're free. Are you fucking kidding me? Now this, now that's a collaboration of the century here, folks. Yes, please. <laughs> oh, hell no. Good afternoon. From sunny Minnesota, familiar face. We're going camping tonight. Oh, that was uh, the ride, dude. That was that was <laughs> that was pre pre uh, plan. It is the first day that we are driving out on the ice here in Minnesota. We've got about twelve inches of good hard ice, and it is. Oh, hold on, like you the background outside right now. It's chilly. That skyline's looking nice. Absolutely cold. Today I'm accompanied by Murray. We're up here. What's in up, Murray? Minnesota. Hell yeah! Going after some, some walleyes and some crappies today. Fishing's been slow, but we've got a pretty sweet stay for the night. Oh wait, we leave this off in Minnesota. Yep. Keep those doors unlocked. And the windows partially yes, down. Might seem kind of crazy wait, for why is some that? you folks, but even though it's cold outside, you gotta keep the windows down when you're going on the ice because if you go in, you want to be able to open your door. Oh, they're on ice. You're a big door guy? Yeah, I don't mess with the window. No. <laughs> they're driving on ice? Home sweet home. Staying overnight in a luxury hard-sided house. That would be just dog. my luck. I go out with Mav, we do something like this, I fall into the ice, and I perish. God forbid. Oh my gosh, this place is nice. <laughs> Nice as thick as hell, is it? Yeah, but dude, driving on it, I'd be no terrified. Way. We're just getting set up here. Oh, this shit looks luxury. There's already, there's already a bite on the rattle reel. Yeah, it's bobby. Hold on, this shit looks really luxury, like a place that I would really enjoy being at. Oh, sick. It's either a perch or a bass or a pike, or it's nothing. Oh, there's some tension. Oh, whatever it was, it just dropped it. No way. Yeah. Okay. Okay, this is obviously an old video, but head to madoutdoors.com. Pop so some merch. About luxury I got a piece here. of my closet. Uh, he sent me some, and I sent him some BDA. Tonight. This is an underwater camera. It shows you the depth, the temperature of the water, and all four fishing holes over here. And then you have a state-of-the-art Garmin Panoptics live scope unit, where if you can't see him on the camera, whoops, I just kicked her camera. Where if you can't see him on the camera, you can see him on the sonar. This is insane. Not to mention, we have our very own little romantic fireplace, buddy. Oh, <laughs> There's that. Honestly, if you do so, listen, on whenever I collab with him, all I'm saying to him is, yo, we're doing whatever you want to do. That's all I'm saying. I'm going to have zero input, no restrictions. I'm going to say, yo, we're doing whatever the fuck you want to do, plan it. Battle reel. Well, I was getting stuff unpacked. Got some bags. We've got enough stuff to stay here for the next 24 hours. Got ourselves a meal planned, and we're going to be staying warm in this uh, Minnesota cold snap. I brought you some dried mangoes, buddy. And then I brought you some of my... I, have a for you. I brought you some of my venison uh, jalapeno sticks, too. You got to watch the outdoor boys? Listen, I, I, don't, I don't think I'm going to cheat on Mav. I'm not even gonna lie, dude. This is probably one of the nicer fish houses I've ever been in. It's one of the nicest fish houses I've been in. Look, you can see the minnow and the weight falling down right there on the sonar. This thing, too. Check this out. This whole bed. Oh, That's dude. That's where boys are elite. Really? Everyone's vouching for him. 
full size bed. Yeah, that's so sick. <laughs> They're staring at it. Oh! <laughs> Dude, that bait's about as big as that perch. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, let's get to fishing. I got these handy hole covers so you don't drop the phone down. That's so cool that. We have one grab. Yeah, how much? How much does this place cost up? you? I mean, think you I saw see, someone say in chat they think it costs fifty k. Falling down on that left yeah, side. How side much there. does this shit cost you think? So as I was saying, this is a hard-sided fish house. It might look pretty crazy to some of you people that aren't from the Midwest, but this is very common out here. Oh, it's common. so common in fact that there's little tiny cities that form on frozen lakes oh, in the shit. winter. Oh shit! And there can be hundreds of houses just like this one, scattered throughout. Now, although there's a lot more styles of fish houses like this on the lake, I'm going to be the first to say that this is probably one of the more luxurious ones. But some things that they all include are these types of wheels that you can just drop the entire fish house to the ground. So you can actually winch up the house so it lifts off the ice and you can tow it behind the truck. But unlike a regular RV, they uh, lower back down to the ice by a hand crank. You can see that the outside of the house is insulated with snow shoveled on the side. And we have different exhausts because there's propane heat burning on the inside to keep us warm with a thermostat. Although this fish house does have its very own bathroom. Everyone's had at least 50K. We have man. our very own portable john outside with some peanuts by the look of it. On the back side of the house, you got yourself a ladder if you wanted to climb on top of the roof to get a scenic sunset. Not really a whole lot going Damn. on on this side besides... One of the more important parts, which is the propane, which is not only going to keep us warm, but it's going to help us cook some dinner tonight. Like I said, videos like this are so of... dope because, like, I've just never done stuff like this, right? Like, it's not a way of life for me. Like, 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 there are definitely a good amount of people that live like this and they do this type of shit, and it's their fun, it's their, it's their escape. Like, that's so cool to me. There's ice out here. That's just enough ice for a lighter weight four x four vehicle. You ever watch Lake Fork guys' videos? I actually style. don't, but I fish with him. Me and Lake Fork were killing it together. My fucking guy. On the inside, we've got a bunk bed that comes down on hydraulics. A Two badass. big leather couches, some a, a badass. And then another bed that folds down right here. I watch and scrap the vlog when it drops. He's been using it for some storage, but what's he dropping? A Toronto vlog? Even. The fuck's the hold up? Tiny that was like two weeks ago. You needed to bathe up out here. So you might have seen some of my videos before where I explain what these are, but if you haven't, this is a rattle reel. Makes it pretty easy to understand what the heck's going on here. It's a reel that has rattles in it. Pull the line. Makes a noise. Put a live minnow on there, and when a fish bites it, it rattles at you and lets you know to set the hook. Okay. Works better when the fish are a little bigger, but right now we're dealing with some pea shooters. We've been, uh... Fishing here for maybe a half hour. Only seen some perch so far, but have high hopes that fish you might pick Where's up later. Where's the poor cats here, buddy? Haven't seen Murray in a while. Crush. Oh yeah. What I'm here for. Oh. Yep. According to Google, that trailer empty is 30k. What do you mean empty? I mean, the only things they added to this are like, what, a couch and... I'm, like, I'm assuming they added those TVs. Ooh, that's already really hot. The oil's already banging, ready to go. Okay, so it's probably like 35, 40k after everything. Seventy. Zen, stay up late. I got food on the way. Trollsy with a tier one for fourteen. Welcome back. Thank you. I'm actually vibing, man. I'm vibing. Am I watching? You're watching. You're watching great content. You're watching some. You're watching great content by watching me watch great content. If that makes sense. I 
I appreciate you watching ads, man. I really do. What's he at in there? Water, okay. To steam the rice, okay. Alright, not very often have I been ice camping and had access to a microwave. Okay. We got our pork getting deep fried here. Crisping up nice. What? On what? On my dead bait? Yeah. Oh gosh. This is gonna be chaos. Oh, it's on my dead bait. Do you have it? Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Can you get the whole cover? Yep. Careful for the oil, man. Oh, he's bobbing. No way. No way. Like, this is crazy. I don't know. While he's making the really pork katsu? Like that seems pikeish, yeah. It seems very pikey. Still cool. Yeah. This thing's bending my rod pretty good. Oh, it's a giant walleye. It's a huge one. Yeah. I don't understand. What's crazy about that? Oh my gosh. It's Did someone huge. explain? It's huge. Oh, are, you, are you kidding me, man? Oh my gosh. Mary, look at that fish. Oh my gosh, dude. Dude, look at this fish. Dude. Walleye is a great catch. Right is it? 22 inches. Yeah, it's probably like a 22, 22. Maybe even bigger. Bro, that was sick, dude. Oh my gosh. All right, uh, I gotta dry my hands and I gotta get this pork out of here because that took away too much. <laughs> dude, I've been out here for this night too. Yeah. First walleye. Yeah, sick one. <laughs> Dude, I can't, you can't make this Walleye stuff Walleye is tuna, right? All right, I'm putting the cover on this hole and I'm gonna set my dead bait once it's, or my dead stick once it's safe again. No, it's not tuna? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't know. Well, yo, don't roast me. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, assholes, you fucking douches. Pork crispened up super nice. Try not to trip over. I don't know what a walleye nice. is. That fish could not have come at a worse like, time or a better time. What's that time, called on a menu? I've the never seen walleye on a menu, days, dude. That's the first walleye that yeah, he's got. That's so. the first mark of dude. the walleye I've seen. Crush. Yeah, I've never once nice. been at a restaurant a nice, and seen nice walleye on the fucking menu. Here. All right, so I prepared this at home already. This is a uh, this is katsu sauce. Got to just add some of the secret ingredient. The best tasting fish ever? Damn. Okay. This. All right, so where do you get it then ago, if it's I not really at restaurants? Pick up this first Japanese knife and now I'm using it for one of the first times. Is that crazy? Dude, that's funny. I love this thing. I love these knives. So the Midwest? Much. That's because you're bougie? Listen, bro. Don't get it twisted. Woo. I like good fucking food. I don't care if it's a five-star establishment or a hole in the wall. I don't give a fuck. I like good food. Yeah, this cat suit looks great. Dang, it's done? Yep. This cat suit's looking great. That is pork tonkatsu. And... I don't know how much you like your apple juices, so. W friend. It's an apple apple. <laughs> it's w be friend. Really hot, so maybe separate them a little bit and let it cool, but. That sauce is fine. You like it? Worcestershire, Worcestershire and um, oyster sauce and a couple other things. You like that? That's really good. It's like one of the staples that I had in Japan. Ten out of ten. <laughs> Ice fishing. <laughs> That's the secret ingredient right there. Wash your sister sauce. All right, there I don't think I've ever been to a supper We're club. Yeah, that I'll looks great, chat. I think while I was plating mine, Marie got a pretty good head start on his. Uh, but your boy wow. spot? I got a lot of boy spots. Uh, what are you looking for, back, guys? That, that sauce is like spot on. 
Very good. It's like a sweet barbecue almost. Mm -hmm. Where do they sleep in it's here? Like good for your soul food. Oh my gosh. It wasn't recording. Sure while I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another? Murray just hooked what up the on a fuck wildlife. is that? You're not stuck on here, are you? No. no. What the fuck is that? Oh, ah! Ah! <laughs> he's, he's hooked onto my hand. What the? What? Oh, weird. Wait, what? you guys were saying that the, the fins could fuck you up or something? Nice work, dude. Dinner's done. Murray just caught a walleye. We got a movie going. Wow. And our wow. This is kind song. of a vibe, chat. Go. Shake it. We got one. We got one on the dead stick right now. Yep. Oh, 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 oh. Who the fuck is that? Oh, Where'd he come time. from? That's why I flew in like that. Yeah. That's where he came out of nowhere. Yeah. He bit it. What? He bit the cord. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, no Never way. have I ever seen that. I've never seen that either. But, like a... What's the name of this video? Dude, that's wild. <laughs> Luxury <laughs> ice camping with underwater camera and pork yes, katsu. Please. Forgot to bring a mug, so we're using a can. Probably gonna burn the crank out of my hand. Oh, hell no. Okay, thank you. I thought he was holding it, bro. He'd be a full-blown psycho if we did well, that. Well, we've been marking our fair share of fish, but... Oh, good night, Flarington. Been I've been fishing, but, like, not like this. Close to ten. There's one coming in right now on the TV. It's crazy, too, because we're keeping it down right on bottom. Yeah. Where they seem to be hanging out, and they don't even want to... I feel like, dude, I feel like I have a bit of a warm... Downsizing, little hook. All right, I, I feel like I think a little negatively of fishing. I think I would love fishing... But we went fishing in, like, the summer in Texas where it's beating hot. Like, I don't like being sweaty and doing that shit. I think I would love fishing in, like, nice, cool weather. You know? I can bundle up a little bit. Hooks with minnows on it, putting more live bait in their face after getting denied on the spoon and can't make meat. It is also completely dark out right now. It's about getting close to 8 p.m. It's a good time to... Enjoy some tea and kick the feet up and be happy that we're warm when it's so cold outside. You have right to now, go to a Friday night fish fry outside. with some cheese curds and a nice cold spotted cow in a Wisconsin to bar to really get up. a feel for the Midwest warm vibe. Degrees in here tonight. We're both happy campers. What a spotted cow. Oh, hell yeah. The yeah, OGs knows what this is. No way. It's been a while since I've played the OG zombies. Wow. Enjoy out here on the ice. Wow. Wow. Nice game, Murda. Wow, it just went from vibey to fucking more vibey. It's somehow, the, the vibe somehow improved from immaculate to more immaculate than that. I don't know how I'm gonna get up there. What the f what is it? What, what the is f is going on here? Oh my gosh. It's the biggest perch I've ever seen. What's going on Ooh. here? <laughs> yeah, boy. Oh, that's not a perch. Come I on. usually skip this part. Everybody's excited this morning, Murray. We gotta get up. I usually skip this part. Why are they so small? Well, these things will wake me up in the middle of the night. In case you're wondering what kind of fishing rods Fishing More uses. <laughs> I mean, come on. This is the best. Just only the best. Only the best in the business. You can buy them on MavOutdoors.com. Oh my gosh. 
Zinni, keep doing great things. I'm headed to bed. Good night, party oh. people. Juicy Lucy, thanks for the love, yeah, bro. Good night, dude, it's man. Yeah, so good. Mmm. I love it. Oh, why is it sour? All right, powering up the camera for the first time today. We're gonna see if we got any buddies hanging out downstairs. All right, I'm just sitting here cooking up some bacon for Murray and I. Okay. Did all this work. Yo, chat. Yeah, I've been thinking of place. something. Do any of you guys kidding. travel yeah, and pack, know, like and your and your clothes easy. aren't wrinkled when you get to your destination? Is that possible? Is it possible to not have Wall wrinkled are... clothes upon arrival? Tricks. Oh, that hurt actually. Don't kick a frozen walleye in your slippers. Roll them, it's dude. Rolling them makes them wrinkle. Besides the fact that it's night of six. How would rolling them not wrinkle them? Sorry that. What? Yes, sir. We don't have any perch hanging out with us. Yeah, no, I travel with a steamer. Yeah, just annoying. In a perfect world, I have no wrinkled clothes at all. Bussin', bussin'. Oh.